Welcome, I'm from Mizei, ZT Axon 9 Pro and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen on the device. So before we begin, uh, number one you want to connect to Wi-Fi which I already am. Uh, so in the process that I'm going to be showing that the device is also locked, uh, you might want to get a SIM card and make sure that it has pin on it. So you will have to put in a pin once you insert it to the device. Now as you also see I already have one in here. There it is, so that's what I'll be using. Now I have my copy and I just skip through this. And there we go, there is the verify pattern and verify your account. So let's go back to the first page right here. And simply what you wanna do is put in the SIM card. Give it a moment for it to load and there we go. So there's the pin for it. Now make sure you do have a pin, you do need it for this to work, so put it in accept it and it locks the device now and it gives you this message so we want to slide to the side like so and you have two options so tap on the settings icon and then tap on the information right here and it takes us to app info so from here we're gonna go into advanced scroll down and browser app then choose open links scroll all the way down to YouTube then we want to go into YouTube again, so tap on the icon itself again. And notifications. And at the bottom you'll have advanced. Tap on that and then last option, additional settings in the app, so choose that. Uh, and from here, about. And then tap on YouTube Terms of Service and it will open up the browser. Now for me it automatically opened it up, but for you it will tell you to accept and continue for the terms of service, it will be just a blue button in the middle, and then it will ask you if you want to log in, so choose no thanks which will be located on the left side. And then you will see this screen right here. So now you want to tap on the top right there and navigate into hardreset.info. Like so, and I just search. And now that you're on the website, tap on the three bars and download. Yep, so once it loads, you can tap on the search field for the download and you want to search for Android 8. Android 8 like so, and search. And there's this link right here, so FRP bypass, scroll a little bit down and you'll have the download link. Again, scroll down and tap on the download. Now let's just continue and allow, tap on OK and it will download it. Now here it's already finished now. If you see the open button, uh, disregard what I'm about to say right now, uh, it doesn't concern. Um, so if it never downloaded or it, for instance, if you go into download, downloads right here and it's stuck at 100%, what you want to do is instead of tapping on it, hold the button right here and choose open an incognito tab like so and tap on download and OK and it will then download no problem. There is sometimes just a bug that it doesn't want to finish download for some reason. So this is a way to I guess fix it. And then just tap on open. Now for me the open disappeared so I'm gonna go back into the download it and open it from here. So once you tap on open you will see this so we need to go into settings and allow from this source so we can actually install it. And once you check this on just go back and install should be now accessible. And once the, once the program is installed you want to open it and now we're in the app itself. So from here tap on Google Account Manager APK install and choose for version 6.0 and same process we need to allow from this source so settings enable go back and install. And this time around once it installs you just want to click on done and you're back in the FRP bypass app. So now tap on the second button, the bypass FRP and choose browser sign in. Tap on the three dots and again tap on browser sign in. Okay and it takes us right here where we can actually put in the Google account. So one thing you can use any existing account that you already have or you can create one. Now there's a create button but I would advise uh, if you're planning to create an account to do it on your computer instead of here uh, just in case of any problems 
um, then once you have the account you can then use it to log in so I already have one and I'm gonna use it Oops, not here. There we go. And tap on next. And I'm gonna put in a password for it. And sign in. And you'll see this. And it automatically, once it logs in, it goes back to the bypass. Uh, so from here, what you wanna do is hold the power key. And choose restart. and wait for the device to restart. Now, once it's back on, we then should be able to go to the setup process, skipping the verification. It will recognize the email that we have just provided as a one that we added, and uh, it will be able to gain access to home screen. But once we do, we want to perform a reset of the device to remove any kind of leftover from the previous account anyway. So just put in the pen again. So, you primarily want to skip through most of the setup, you don't want to set up anything at the moment, it won't really matter. And you can see right here, account added, and this is the account that I have provided right before the restart. Um, so, yours probably will be different depending on what, what account you used. And this is normally where the screen uh, would be visible to verify your account. So I just tap on next. And more and more, accept. Skip this. Not now, skip anyway. Continue, no thanks, no thanks. Next, more, agree. Um, all set. And we're now on the home screen. So from here, let's go into the settings, scroll all the way down to system, advanced, and here you'll find reset options. So tap on that and choose erase all data, factory reset. And it gives you a list of things that we'll remove. So uh, everything that we're not really interested in. And right here also shows that it will remove the account that we have added. And there's also one that it doesn't provide, which is the previous account, uh, which will be removed as well. So if you perform a reset right now, it will completely remove any kind of uh, accounts that were previously blocking us. And after the reset, there won't be any kind of verification whatsoever. So I just tap on reset, erase everything and let the process begin. So once, it, once it's finished, we can then go to the setup process properly and just set up everything like adding emails and uh, setting passcodes, stuff like that. And the device will be fully usable and fully unlocked at that point. So I'll be back once the reset is finished. Okay, and as you can see, there it is. So let's put in pin, and we can now set, start the setup. Okay, unlock this. Now let's change the language to English and start. Now, like I said, uh, the device is now fully unlocked, and first thing that you can see is the fact that it can skip uh, Wi Fi connection, which wouldn't be accessible if the device needed to be uh, verified. I just tap on next, more and more, and accept. And here you can add your fingerprint along with pattern, pin, or pa password, whatever you want. Now I'm just gonna skip this to save on time. And yep, I'm gonna skip it. I just tap on next here. More. And all set. And we're done with the setup. So that is how you would bypass the Google verification. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.